Well, it's a good thing you guys are ready because I am not duty calls. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in one second. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! Brosis versus Dave Lindo. Let's get it going. Brosis audio is what we're gonna have to use. Dave Lindo does not have his audio going. So let's go ahead and try and turn this bad boy up. There we go. Nice and high there. Looks like these two know their strategies. Look at... Look at these guys go. Nice and comfortable. Alright, make sure I got Discord open in case these two use their lifeline. I highly doubt one of them is gonna use their lifeline this early, but I mean, you never know. But again, I highly doubt it. Rosis versus Dave Lindo. Both of these guys were in season one. Both were knocked out early in season one. We got Dave Lindo, I think, has 12th place, and Brosis has 13th place. This is interesting, guys. This is interesting. Uh, for anyone new here, and for anyone who doesn't know, the first points to generate in World 1 is the first frame jump in the Hammer Brother battle, and the ducking on the entire airship. And it looks like Dave Lindo has just taken his first death right there. We have seen it before. He's not in the minus. That's not the end of the world, guys. If both of these runners have been watching the tournament from the start, they w ooh, almost got the jump. They would know that a mistake like that early on is not that big of a deal. I mean, he does lose a point, but there's so much to go around. I really hope this doesn't discourage him because that's not even close to the end. All right, Brosis did not get the frame perfect jump, so if Dave Lindo does, I mean, Boom! Easy! They're still in the same level. Oh, going for the duck! Don't get stuck in the ceiling! He does not get stuck in the ceiling. That is fantastic. You'd love to see that. Bros is now making his way through 1-6. This, this can be a pretty trolly level, but it doesn't look like it's gonna bother him. Oh, it does bother him. He doesn't get his P-Speed. This is good for Dave Lindo to catch up. That death suddenly doesn't seem like such a big time waste. Bros is gonna have to try again, and he gets it the second time. But he second guesses himself, and Dave Lindo goes ahead and gets ahead of him with that. Dave Lindo still needs to do the Hammer Brother battle, but wow. Wow, that right there, that is a good call. It looks like Bros' screen is cut off on the bottom, and you are correct. It is cut off on the bottom. But that is on his video feed, not mine, guys. I can't bring any more from the bottom up. So that's what, that's what you see. Oh, and Brosis gets the fire flower right away. He loves, he is so happy to see that. That is huge for him. Dave Lindo is also going to go for the fire flower. Does he get it in the mushroom house first? He does not, man. So that is a big deal right there. Not huge. Not a huge deal. But let's see how the ducking on the airships go. Let's see how it goes. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Keep your eyes peeled. Make sure these guys aren't peeking when they're supposed to be poking. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow! I can't believe he didn't take damage. That would have eliminated the point altogether. He's gonna use the screen to push him. Oh! And Dave Lindo uncrouched. But Brosis. Not gonna go for the Fire Flower. Looks like he's got his own strategy here. Look at this. He doesn't have to do anything. Is this the meta? Nope, he had to jump forward there. Oh, and Brosis gets it. Wow, big, big points right at the start, man. Right off the start, he gets the Fire Flower and he gets the Airship Duck. Nice, Dave Lindo with a fantastic fire kill. Look at him, Dave Lindo is not that far behind in time. Brosis spent quite a bit of time getting that duck when he didn't need to, but right on. Love to see it.
Looking good, baby. Looking good. Love to see this. Let's keep the hype rolling, guys. We got two more races going on tomorrow, so make sure you guys type exclamation tournament to stay up. We are still in round one of the tournament. It's going to be going on through the entire month of October. $700 cash prize for the winner. Points tournament. Not your average everyday speedrunning tournament. This is unique, one of a kind. So make sure you guys follow along. Alright, so world two, they're looking for the sun kills and all movements of two. After 2-1, they always, always get a movement of 2, so it's free right there. And then after 2-2 two, two is when they're going to be looking at their cards, their inventory. That's when things start to spice up, man. It's not, uh, it's not training wheels anymore. After yeah, The training wheels are off when you enter World 2, that's all I can say. And look at these guys, they know their speed strats. I think they've been practicing, just hiding it. I told everyone that they should be hiding their practice. I said that they should, but I think that's the right play. You don't wanna... Rose is still getting movements of two, and same with Dave Lindo getting movements of two. If Dave Lindo gets early P-Speed here, which he does get, and that is gonna... Oh, that is unfortunate. That was gonna give him a chance to gain some time. I think it tripped him up a little bit that he got the early P-Speed. Not gonna be able to get it back here. But he is not far behind, guys. He is not far behind. Uh, Dave Lindo taking the death is actually gonna kind of have a problem with uh, the lives at the end of the game. So they are very, very close to each other. Very, very close. This is a good match. Movements of two. On the left side, still all movements of two. Dave Lindo needs to get a movement of two here. He also gets a movement of two. That is fantastic. Very scary here. Small Mario. I hope he knows the small Mario strats. He's already died once. Doesn't want to die anymore, man. Doesn't need those deaths. All right. Let's see what the first card they get. They need to get a flower in their first card slot. And Brosis gets a flower in his card slot. If he matches flower, star, and Mushroom, he gets that point, man. Very specific. It has to be in that order. Dave Lindo tries to go for it. Does not get it, though. So this is going to be pretty good for Brosis. 420. Alright. Still a movement of two on Dave Lindo's side. He's going to skip. Oh my god, what? Did you guys see that tornado? I We have not seen that yet, this game. That random tornado throw, that was amazing for Brosis. He's got halfway there to the sun kill. He's got to kill two more suns. Oh, Dave Lindo missing that. That could be a big problem here. That could be a big problem. A movement of four still has a movement of two in it. So Brosis is still in this with movements of two. It looks like, looks like Dave Lindo's not going to be getting more movements of two, but that's okay. He's going fast. Oh, and Brosis gets a movement of two as well. So it looks like it's a no-go. But if Brosis gets a mushroom here in his inventory, he does get the mushroom flower for the flower star mushroom point. He's going a little slow. He's freaking up a little bit. This is going to be hard for him. He does not get it, man. That is really bad for him. He had a good opportunity and he was not able to use it. That is really unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Let's see how it goes. He's got the flower. That's actually... Oh, and Dave Lindo takes the death there from the buffering from not taking damage. But he's going to get the, the hammer early, which is good. He's going to be able to snap out of it, though. Snap out of it. Nice. There we go. Alright, now they're both just in the pyramid. There we go, okay. Sorry, I was being quiet there because I didn't want to say anything and commentators curse Dave Lindo, but that actually turned out pretty well for him. He made it through and he's out of there. He's out of there. Now, for both of these particular runners, I'm sure nerves play some kind of role. You know what I mean? We got nerves, we got points, confusion, you know, it could be a ton of things. So let's hope that let's hope that Dave Lindo can bounce back by the time he hits World 3. He's not got, he doesn't have the preemptive point for the sun, but Brosis does, so we'll see how World 3 goes. They're both going to be on the airship three airship here, so it's going to be it's be an interesting World 3, I hope. I really hope 
this is an interesting World 3, man. It's still anyone's game, man. It's definitely still anyone's game. Just chilling on the airship, guys. Just chilling on the airship. Not a whole lot can really go on right now. Oh, Bros is going for the fire kill in Warpless, and he does get it. That is going to be huge with him for time save up against Dave Lindo. That is going to be huge with him for time save up against Lindo. Oh, Brosis with another flower card in his slot, so he's going to have a second opportunity. We actually watched Rupert have like nine opportunities, and he could not secure... The flower star mushroom. It just did not work for him. So let's let's hope that Brosis doesn't have the same issues uh, that Rupert had earlier. Alright, here we go. World 3, what we're going to be looking out for is no water battles, special item tile, and door 3 in world 3. Not too bad at all, guys. Not too bad at all. Pretty casual, looking pretty hot. All right, Dave Lindo should be able to get his backup Fire Flower and be kind of back on track. And uh, he's really not that far behind. He did take an unfortunate amount of deaths. Ooh, Brosis messes up a second opportunity. That is what you don't want to see, man. Gonna have those extra points, but he's messing those up. Nice, and Dave Lindo keeps his P-Speed, gets that power up. Looking good, man. That's really good. Brosis not going through the Cheap Chiefs, man. Those Cheap Chiefs are so scary, man. They, they are so, so scary. He does not get the flower, which is good. If he got a fanfare, he would lose a point. Don't want to get the fanfare. Dave Lindo going for the really hard P-Speed. Did he not get it? But that's okay. His opponent didn't get it. Oh, he took damage every time Dave Lindo gets a chance. Ah, and he took damage there, so it's going to take away his Fire Flower. Mushroom's going to go in the other direction. Oh my god, this could be a recipe for disaster. It's almost like everything evened out for this, and yes, it did. Everything evened out for this. He's gonna go ahead and take another death there, man. It's not over, though. It's not over. And Brosis gets another Fire Flower, man. He's pulling out a Rupert. It's gonna happen. He's gonna keep getting those options. Dave Lindo taking another hit there. Oh, he made it out, though. See if Brosis gets door three. He's not even gonna go for door three. Did he forget about door three? He did not forget it. I thought he forgot about door three. He's just not gonna go for door three. Okay. No door three. It's a chance for Dave Lindo to catch up on some points here. Dave Lindo really, really needs to snap back and start getting some of these points. Oh, moving a four here. And this is a situation we've seen before, man. Brosis is gonna do this first. To get the point. Dave Lindo's gonna clutch out some dope P-Speed strategies here. Looking pretty good. Hopefully he doesn't get three coins. He got three coins, but he's not on coin ship par, which is pretty good for him. Thank goodness. No coin ships from either runner. Brosis has Flower Star. Now he's gonna go back down. He did study his special tiles, and it looks like he's gonna get a special tile item. Look at that on Brosis' side. All right, Dave Lindo needs to get door three here, man. This would be really clutch for him. Oh, I thought he got the door three. And it looks like he's gonna get no water battles as well. Clutching out some of those points. Hopefully Dave Lindo's got his points understudied here. Either of them are getting runaway, it looks like. Gonna have to go for the stomp kill. Not having the best world three, but he's still making his way through kind of nice. Should do level four first. Nope, he's gonna get sucked into the same issue there. He could have avoided runaway, he could have got the special tile, and he could have avoided water battle if he had done level four first. 
But unfortunately, the practice pays off. If he gets run away, bro, here, he's definitely going to be kicking himself, man. That's going to be pretty hurtful. He's died. He's also died. Oh, no, this is really good for him. He died. He died in World 3, so the bridge is actually open right now, which means after this level, it's going to close. Practice will definitely pay off if you can realize that fast enough. All right, looks like Brosis is on his way. Brosis is definitely not doing Brosis 420. Let's see what happens here. Oh, he's gonna avoid it. No! And this is why you gotta practice, guys. This is why. Oh, he needed it for the hammer, but I still don't think that was worth it. Because now he's gonna have to cloud across, go to level seven. Right there. Oh, no. He tried to go across the bridge. Oh, no! Practice! Oh, he doesn't have a cloud, though! Why did he die? Now the bridge is closed, and he's gonna have to take another death. He's not... This is not going good for him. He's gotta take... Well, now he doesn't have to die. He's gotta do the auto-scroller. Practice! Guys, practice, practice, practice! Practice, practice, practice. So what happened is that... I don't know, maybe he accidentally bonked. Maybe he tried to move to the right, but what happened was he, he moved down and, or up. Or, well, moving up wouldn't have used the cloud, but moving down would have used the cloud. So maybe he accidentally pressed down, but I don't think so, man. That's a pretty hard... Ooh, unfortunate. Come on, Dave, you had this, man. You had this. You were doing great. You weren't doing the best, but you were doing great, man. <sighs> oh, that's okay. He's through the auto scroller, though. He's safely through it. Nice. All right, looks like Brosis is on World Four now. He's made his way into World Four, looking pretty good here. It's not over yet, guys. We have seen so many other things. Brosis should- no, Brosis should go in this level and get the cloud. You should get the cloud in this level and then cross the bridge. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Yep, he's gonna get the cloud. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you know, he's coming back a little bit, man. We've seen- we watched Scarface lose five points at the end of World 8. And it can happen to Brosis. Right? Brosis with the flower star. Here is his chance. Again, this is his third opportunity. Brosis to get that point. Third opportunity right here. Dave Lindo finally back on track. He's out of it. He's going across. Don't use your cloud. What are you doing? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that was fine. That was fine. He used his cloud on level eight. He's getting the hell out of here. He's good. I, I wouldn't have used it on that level, but... Hey, man, at least he's getting it back. At least he's getting it back. I thought, I thought he was going to use, oh, man. That was, that was insane. That was insane, but we missed it. I panicked hard, but did Brosis get star, did Brosis get flower star mushroom? That is the question. I don't know. I don't know. It would have been faster if you used that cloud on 4-4 four, four, or 5-2. Those are the longest levels. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that boss bass either. He's out of there. Brosis got Flower Star Mushroom. All right. He gets the Flower Star Mushroom point. Does he get punished here for not getting a 288? It looks like he is going to get punished. He's going to get that point taken away. You have to get a 288 or higher in this level. Or else you get a point taken away. So it looks like he's going to get a point taken away. Boom. Back down. All right. Dude, he keeps getting a marathon. Let's look at his items in his inventory. They're still not touching, so he has an opportunity for the two points. He's gonna be swimming blind. Oh my god, and he almost takes the death there. I don't think he's gonna be able to get this mushroom. Oh, he is. Wow, it bounced off the wall. What a lucky bug right there. 
But now he's still swimming blind, guys. This is really hard. Never know where these Lakitus are gonna throw these Spinies. Gonna stay low, that's a good choice. I would do the same thing. Stay low, man. Stay low. All right, he's in the clear. All right, Dave Lindo getting his butt out of World 3. Let's see him clutch in a lot of points, man. He should pull up the points and see what he's got left to get, man. See what he's got left to get. Taking damage, but he's got through. All right, does Brosis know his Hammer Brothers? Let's see. Oh, he does know his Hammer Brothers. He is gonna get the... If you get the P-Wing right after the cloud, you do get a point right there, so he's going to get that point. That's a really good point right there. Looks like he's gonna fight the star. That is really good for Brosis because when he beats the airship, he's gonna get a P Wing, right? So if he, the last item he gets in World 4 is a P Wing and then he gets a P Wing, he's gonna have two items touching his inventory. That'll be really bad for him. Dave Lindo go for the patented MFP's P Speed strats, but he doesn't nail the jump. Oh, and it looks like Brosis does get early P Speed. Wow, man, this is incredible. You know, it's not a good idea to get all the points in World 4 because one of them is a punishment, but he's just going for the full board clear. I mean, look at his card right now. Look at his card, man. This is incredible. Nothing stopping him. He's on his way out of World 4. Now we get to focus on Dave Lindo, man. We gotta see Dave Lindo getting some points. Guys, anyone wondering, type in exclamation tournament. Exclamation tournament will give you a link to the rules and how the points work. It's very easy to read. It's the first thing you see when you open up the link um, and it'll show you how to generate points and how points can get taken away. There's also a calendar there to show you when the races are scheduled and the brackets to show who's against who. All right, exclamation tournament right there. Uh, points, info, and rules right there on that link. Enter that. If you don't want to read it, then uh, it's not my problem. All right, so Dave Lindo does not have two items touching in his inventory, which is really good. And the Hammer Brothers switched on him, which means if he fights the star first, he's almost guaranteed of getting that point. So this is good. All right, here's another one. Let's see. Let's see Dave Lindo not getting punished here. Come on. He cannot afford to lose another point. Wait, Dave Lindo also did not get a water battle. Boom. He is not getting punished. Just a reminder, Dave Lindo did not get a water battle in World 3, so he does get a point right there. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, he gets the star first, and he has a fire flower. Dave Lindo is making a massive comeback here, guys. This is what we want to see. Bros to start making some mistakes. Dave Lindo start collecting these points. It's the early P speed here. He needs to clutch a star here, and then he needs to go right for that cloud, because if that happens, then boom. But what he should do is go for the Mushroom House right after he gets the P wing. Because then he's gonna get screwed with the items touching. You have to remember, Peach's letter at the end of every world gives you an item. So if he gets the P wing, beats World 4, Peach is gonna give him a P wing. Boom, two items are gonna be touching. Two of the same items in the inventory. He gets the star, that's really good. He's going for this mushroom house. Does he get the fire flower? No, he does not get the fire flower. That's unfortunate, he should've went for this mushroom house after he got the P-Wing though, but he's got another mushroom house to go for. That's good, he's got the cloud. As soon as he gets this cloud, I know he's gonna go for the P-Wing. So boom, he's definitely gonna get that point. There's an, I, it's impossible for him not to, right? He's obviously gonna go for the P-Wing. But he needs to go for the Mushroom House after he gets the P-Wing, right? I just explained with the with the P-Wing's touching, so let's see how this goes. That's pretty rough, man. That was close, but he made it. Oh, he did too many perfect jumps, so he lost P-Speed. The game could not rebuild the timer. He had never landed on the ground in the first place. Taking damage right there, and Brosis is now entering World 5. 
No, he does not get the mushroom. That is incredibly unfortunate for him. But he does go for the hammer brother first. He does get the P-Wing, just like I said. Right, so now he's got a P-Wing. If he does not go for this mushroom house, he is unfortunately going to take a big bad situation. And he does go for the mushroom house. That is really good for him. That is really good for him. That is really good for him, but he does not get the fire flower. That's okay, though, because the two items touching in your inventory is really, really important. Really, really important. Alright, world five here. Does he get early P-Speed here? He gets early P-Speed! Right on! But he takes a death! No, he loses a point for taking a death! You hate to see it. Does he get an additional point for getting early P-Speed again? He does not. Oh my gosh, and he just took another death. As soon as he starts cleaning up points, he starts losing his points, man. Gosh, man, that sucks so much. A mushroom. All right. Dave Lindo is doing so well there. So well. Oh, and it looks like Brosis messed up his inventory. Right? You have to remember, when Brosis beat World 4, he got a P-Wing, and then the next item he got in his inventory was just a P-Wing right there. So Brosis is not going to get the two items touching. That can be pretty good for Dave Lindo. That can actually be really good for Dave Lindo. Dave Lindo's out of here. He's done. He's done with that world. He's like, I've had enough of this crap. I'm done with World 4. I'm out. Which is good. Which is really good. Alright, no bonks or bumps. But if he matches a mushroom in the roulette game, he gets a point. Can he get a mushroom? Oh, he's got a mushroom. Oh, he's got a mushroom. No! He gets the leaf beard. The mushroom beard. Not gonna cut it. No overworld bumps, though. If he, if he gets through all of World 5 without bumping on the overworld map, he will get a point. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. All right, if he can get a 280 or higher, then he gets a point. If he can get a 280 or higher in the Twisty Castle, he will get a point. Here we go, don't miss that pipe. He didn't miss the pipe. That's good. Oh, he takes damage. That's not going to cost him time. I don't know if he can make it here. I think he still can. He's got to do a really clutch jump here with the turtle. He might die. The only way to get this point, he's got to clutch, and he does clutch it. Does he get the 280? Oh, wow, just hits the 280 and gets the point right there. Boom, 12 points. All right, this has been the hardest level for the tournament for everyone so far. Let's see how it goes for Brosis. No missed A inputs. No messed up jumps. He's in the clear. He's in the clear. Boom. Alright, Dave Lindo's still on the most annoying airship you could possibly have to worry about. He's gonna get the mushroom for safety. That's a very, very good idea. I'd do the same thing. He's not gonna get full peace speed, so he's gonna have to bounce off. Yes, he knows the strat. You have to bounce off that flame guy. If you don't get full peace speed, you cannot make the jump. Dave Lindo, don't go through the boss. Thank goodness, man. That boss has actually been... He went through the boss! Oh my gosh, that was last frame. And he actually got it. Did... Th Brosis just bumped on the overworld map, so he is not gonna get that point. Look at that! Did you guys hear Brosis bumped on the overworld map at that card? You hate to see it, man. He is not going to get the no bumps in World 5. So that is it for his World 5 points. Will he get a special tile, though? No, he is not. He did another bump right there. Is he going to go back for the roulette game? He is not going to go back for the roulette game. It is time for Dave Lindo. Dave Lindo is going to use his leaf. Dave Lindo's inventory is still really nice here. He's going to take damage right there. He's going to take damage again. He might die here. Hopefully not. These stairs are a lot harder than they look. All right. He's going to go for the full big jump. Yes, he is. And he's safe. 33 coins, though. Odds change. Oh, thank goodness. 34 coins. Wow. Wow, that was close. 
No bump on the overworld map on Dave Lindo's side. I think one of my mods... Well, none of us can hear him, so we don't know for sure. But we can see it. We can see when it happens. Close that gap. That is exactly right. We need to see that gap close. Dave Lindo can clutch in some uh, extra points that we already know that Brosis cannot get, which is no bumps and items. All right, it's up to Dave Lindo here now. Dave Lindo can get some points, man. He's got no items to use, though. Since he can't get the P-Wing, he should use the P-Wing and then get the P-Wing. Then he'll have an item for the Twisty Castle. I know it sounds like a waste, but I think it's worth it for the points. Alright, Bros is making- we gotta pay very close attention to Dave Lindo for the bumps. Oh, the Hammer Brothers switch. That is perfect for him. He's gonna go for the roulette game. Again, if he gets this as well. Mushroom. Oh, mushroom flower. What creepy flower mushroom thing. That's not gonna cut it. No bumps on the overworld map. This is good for him. He's gonna get an item and then he can get his P-Wing. No special item tile. Oh my gosh. There we go. No special item tile on this one. I provided every runner a map in the rules list of all the special tiles. I provided everyone the ability to check it out. That was not a bump he buffered. That was not a bump he buffered, guys. Nope, no special tile. Moving a four for him. No bump on the overall map. He's gonna use the star to get that 280. And it looks like Brosis is now going to start World 6. And we're going to see if Dave Lindo is going to be able to get the 280 as well. I mean, every point he doesn't get that Brosis gets just makes him further behind. So, World 6, we're looking for low patterns. 279 in the Fortress, Floor Clip, and Fire Clip. Let's we'll see how this goes. Going to use his hammer. Low pattern? No, so he cannot get that point. That's good for Lindo. Lindo wall rubbing. Missing the pipe. Oh! not going to be able to clutch at that 280. No. Nope. Very unfortunate. Gets the 278. Almost the 279. Alright. Brosis is going to use a P-Wing here to try and get the, 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 two, the 279 in this fortress. It's going to be pretty hard. I still have to pay very, very close attention to Dave Lindo. Make sure he does not do any of those overworld maps. We cannot hear his stream. Dave Lindo still has not got the Flower Star Mushroom yet either. 279 right there. Wow. Right there for Brosis. High points games, man. Nice. Good jumps on Dave Lindo's side, man. He's really, really cleaning up with these mistakes. Super easy to get tilted, but I think he's doing a great job coming back and cleaning everything up. Again, they don't know how their opponent's doing, so they have no idea. Lifelines can be good here. I created a very special point called the lifeline. That's not a point. But you get to use it once during the entire tournament. Dave Lindo going for the mushroom house. Is he going to get the fire flower? Oh, man. He does not get the fire flower. But Bros just gets the special tile. He's already got the special tile, though, so it doesn't matter. Dave Lindo not going for the spade matching game again. Which is okay, I guess. I, With how much he's behind in time, I collect as many points as I can. As many points as I can. But I'm not in this tournament, so I have no idea. I got no clue. Alright, no Hammer Brothers left. Brosis is actually free of all of the I like item tile distractions. Dave Lindo gonna go for the mushroom house again. Try and get that fire flower right here, man. Oh man. Talk about some awful luck right there. He's in the fortress. He's now in the fortress. Ooh, Brosis almost misses, man. He almost misses. 
We've seen so many people forget that hammer suit. It's actually been kind of funny. It's actually been kind of funny. Do -do 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 -do. Nice. Nice. So, Brosis pretty much just has some World 6 cleanup. Dave Lindo's got to make sure he does not bonk on the overworld map, and he should really go for those roulette games, man. The mushroom houses are not working for him. He has not bumped on the overworld map yet either. Oh, you gotta hope World 6 gives you the special tile. Not going for it, man. So questionable. Maybe, maybe he's just naturally, like, maybe he's naturally not good at the matching game and he said, you know, I'll try it once if I get it cool, if I don't, whatever. Some people are good at it, some people aren't. It's just the way it is. It's the way it is. There was a one up there that Brosis could have got. He doesn't want to take damage here. Not sure what he has up his sleeve. And Brosis, or Dave Lindo getting through without any overworld bumps. Yes. Starting to clean up some points here, man. He's making his way to world six. Brosis going for the P Wing strat. Easy strat. Get him out of here. Alright, here we go. Here's a chance. There's a chance for Brosis to make the gap even bigger, man. If he gets this clip, nobody's got this clip once yet in the tournament. Not a single person. If he gets this, that'll be clutch. He does not get it. He takes the damage. Takes the damage. Going for floor strat. Not much going on right now, guys. Not much going on. Still working our way up, but the, we gotta we gotta get through some of the some of the slower things here first. Some of the slower things here first. It's okay. Brosis still has one more point he can try and collect in World Six. No, he can't. Never mind. He's small Mario, he can't go for that. Now it's Dave Lindo's turn at World Six, and what I want to see. Oh, I thought he was gonna get stunned there. But what I want to see from him, I want to see him low patterns, floor clip, and fire clip. Get four points right there. Yeah, you see, Brosis cannot go for this clip. He doesn't have a power up. Yeah. I don't know if he has a power up from um, a mushroom house or not. But, uh, I don't know. Anything can go here. Brosis, or Dave Lindo is still good with his inventory, and he gets a low pattern with the Hammer Brothers. This could be huge, man. This could be huge. We need to see Dave Lindo equipped an item, man, if he wants to get this. If he wants to get this 279, man. He's going for the mushroom house, though. He wants to get the fire flower. Man, he keeps trying. So annoying, it's not working for him. Does he finally get one? No, he doesn't. Wow, these mushroom houses has not been his friend today at all. Hopefully, he equips that leaf, though. He equipped a P Wing. That is a good way to get that 279, man. We saw we saw Brosis get the 279. We're gonna see Dave Lindo get that 279 as well. Wow. That's it. No, that cost him it. And he almost died. Unfortunate, man. He needed that. Wow, the little things, guys. The little things, man. Like, what a random jump into a block is what cost it, dude. That's what cost it. Okay. He's got one and five. He's got five tries here. One. Two. Three. Four. This is it. Last try. Nope. Not going to get it. Going back over to Dave Lindo's side. He's got to get some more low patterns here. There you go. Bros has made it in within a couple tries after five. Not gonna clutch it out. Yeah, right here. Not gonna clutch it out. 
Very unfortunate. All right, does he get low pattern? This is the right hammer brother. He does get low pattern. As long as he doesn't fight another hammer brother, he is good. Dave Lindo gets the points. All low patterns in this world. Oh, he's not in the clear yet though. He's not in the clear yet. And Brosis does a very nice job on 7-2 right there. Using the star, doing the turn backs, man. That's what you need, dude. Oh, and there it is. Dave Lindo does take the damage. He takes another set of damage. So what's going to happen is he's going to have to do this and go into the pipe. Would have been faster if he went back to the pipe at the beginning, but he's going to go into this pipe. Knows this pipe is more comfortable with this pipe. We cannot give Dave the point yet for low patterns because we have to wait and see where the Hammer Brother is to screw him over after this level. Nice. Don't throw that at the turtle, I can tell you that much. Nice, nice shell jump. Brosis getting out of that 7-3, man. Ooh, Dave Lindo taking damage. Oh, wow, that was crazy. He threw the shell and ducked at the same time. I've never even seen that. Never even seen that. All right, item abuse world. He gets screwed over and he gets even more screwed over. Wow. He was forced to fight this hammer brother, but he didn't use his music box. He has extra music boxes and didn't use it. Watch, look at his inventory. He has extra music boxes. What are you doing? I saw the hammer. It's The hammer was right there. Did you guys see the hammer? He has the hammer. Was the hammer in between two items? Is that why? Oh, and he took the death anyways. Oh no. He's got the hammer. This is a slippery slope for Dave Lindo, man. Every time he gets the advantage, something keeps happening. Not want to see this auto scroller being played. There's nowhere for him to use that hammer to save that time back. And this is an extremely, extremely long auto scroller. All right, Brosis has an opportunity here to get another point. The mid clip. He's got two tries to get the clip in the middle of this level, and then he's got two attempts. Let's hope. Let's hope he secures these two attempts. First try, not successful. Second try, not successful. He's not gonna get the point for two tries. That's all I give you is two tries. Didn't go for the fire flower, mainly because he's gonna be able to get it on the airship. So I guess he's not worried about it. So I, I'm, I'm assuming he's going to use music box cloud in this situation. And I think I'm right, music box. Cloud, and he's out of there. Guys, I hate to say it, but I think, I think we're noticing a pattern with points here. I think we've noticed over the past three days a very large pattern in uh, high points versus low points, which seems to be practice versus not practice. I don't know if Dave Lindo's been practicing. He might have been, but there has been a lot of things that have been going on in his run that have been big, clear indications of not practicing. It's unfortunate, I mean, some people are able to go through and not practice. You know those kids in school who don't study for tests and still get 90s? You know how we all hate those kids? Well, I'm sure that can still happen in speedrunning, but I don't think we're gonna see it happen in this tournament, guys. I don't think we're gonna see it happen in this tournament. Dave Lindo has been practicing is what uh, Montreal Chris has been saying. So there we have it. So he has been practicing and I'm guessing he's just been getting very unlucky 
uh, with 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 some of the things that have been going on. So I'm I'm wrong. I'm wrong. He has been practicing. It's okay. I mean, I of course I can be wrong. I want to be wrong because I want these guys to be practicing. Nails the wall jump. That was a sick wall jump. I agree. Not using a power up. Very interesting situation we have Dave Lindo here, but he's not in the minus, so this is okay. Yeah, I wouldn't go for that clip either. No, I take it back. I mean, if he's been practicing, yeah, nerves as well. That's right, Jartza. Jartza knows, man, the nerves. They can come back and bite you. He's gotten pretty bad, uh, um, he's gotten some pretty bad Mushroom House RNG. I mean, it's just not been his race, but look at him. He's still going strong, so... Here you go, you see? Is he gonna equip an item? Is he gonna look at his inventory? He is not. He's just going full on, I'm out of here. Brosis is on his way to World 8 right now. But yeah, you definitely can't practice nerves. You're right about that. Well, the only reason I'm bringing up practice is because uh, is because the the unfortunate mistake that that he had to deal with in World Three, he could have got the the special bro item in World Three, um, and I think really that's all that he could have been within his control. You know, I guess it just happens. Um, the the World Three also with the cloud and the bridge, it's okay, man. I I'm trying to react just as it goes and. You know, I don't want to hurt any of the runner's feelings. I don't want to make anyone upset, but that's just the way, the way the cookie crumbles. Regardless of anything that happens, I mean, we just had KLM have a very, very bad tournament race against uh, Scar, Nico, and you know what? We we had him in an interview, and he was still happy about it. He was positive. You know, he still put on a good show, good performance. So, I mean, regardless of what happens, it happens, right? That's just how it goes. So I think Dave Lindo is still doing great, no matter what. He's gonna go for sub-pixel manipulation. He still has time to clean up points though, and I think that's what he might be going for, some points clean up. Remember, anything can happen to Brosis. Dave Lindo's got five tries. One. Two. Three. Four. Last try. Oh, the wall rub. Imagine he got a six try. That's the worst. Rosis getting rangless. Making it even harder, dude. Making it even harder for Dave Lindo. Jeez, man. The rangless. Rosis is in a different position right now because he didn't spend time in the roulette games. He did for one. He didn't spend time in the mushroom house. He didn't waste time with the inventory. I mean, at first he tried, but now after that, he's, he's not worried about inventory. Dave Lindo getting the clip. Yes. It's good to see players not losing like 10 minutes. 7-1. Ooh, flower star flower. No. So close on Dave Lindo's side. There's so many chances. Dang it, dude. Using a star. Good opportunity here. Oh no. Oh, the unfortunate death. He's gonna have to equip another item here. Oh, he used the star and there goes his inventory items touching each other. That is not what you want to see here. Right, he's got his P speed built. Making his way through. This is gonna be very stressful. If he gets the random spawn, that's gonna suck. 
No, that's okay. He's in the clear. Nice. Very nice, Dave. Man, that's so scary, and he made it work. Very, very impressed with that one. Great, yeah. All right, Brosis, what do you got for us? First hand. Dave Lindo also getting the flower, man. He's got time to clear some points. If Brosis would have taken damage there, that would have been heavy. All right, Dave Lindo needs the star here. He needs to collect as many points as he can before this run hits the, the 60 minute mark. Wow, Brosis, man. Yep, he's gonna use his cloud. Now he's gonna now he's gonna use his P-wings. And he does not get pulled in, so he does not get the all hands points. But now we have to pay very close attention. Make sure he does not kill any of the rocky wrenches. If he kills one, he doesn't get a point. If he lets them all live, save the animals, he gets the point, man. This could be really good for him. Right on. Look at him go, man. Look at him go. Focus, focus. Focus. Oh, there's that hammer. He's like, oh shit. Oh, he took damage and he killed one at the same time. That is the worst thing you could possibly see on Brosis' side. Not having a very good world aid on Brosis' side, man. He took damage and he killed one at the same time. That is horrible. But he's not out of this. Not out of this. Nice, Dave Lindo working his way to Island 3 right now. He's gonna do 7-8, hopefully get the hammer suit or something. Meanwhile, Bros is gonna use a leaf here. Oh, he's gonna go for some one-ups here. This is a good play. He only needs one, that's right. He only needs one. He's gonna get one from the cards. Wait, did Dave Lindo get Flower Star Mushroom? That's right, he did. That's right, he did. I knew, I knew it. Nice, he's gonna get this mushroom. Don't go for the clips. He's gonna go for the clips. Clips don't help you. They do not help you at all. All right. This is it. This is it for Brosis. Brosis is gonna need this sun kill. He misses the sun kill. Get it. There you go. He got it. He got the point. Dave Lindo not going for mid clip. See, this is what I mean with practice. Why didn't he go for mid clip? It was right there. Does anyone know? Well, oh, either way. Very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. That was the chance for him to clean up one more point, but... Hey, man, it happens. I, whatever happens, happens. It just is the way it is. The way it is. Alright, Brosis is doing his last fortress here. He's gonna get a quick kill. Boom. See you later. Boom. Boom. And now Dave Lindo is going to be able to get the fire flower. It seems like Dave Lindo has enough time to try and get the wrench point and try and get all hands. That would be good for him. He needs some of those points. Meanwhile, Brosis has taken damage. And he did not. He killed one of the rock he wrenches. Very unfortunate. All right, both of these guys on auto scrollers. How are you guys doing, chat? Are you guys enjoying yourselves? Are you enjoying the tournament? Are you enjoying the points match?
I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys enjoy the tournament, man. This is season two. Every season the points change, right? Every season the points change, and I do not reveal the points to the runners until about two to three weeks before the tournament starts. Then they can all practice, develop strategies. That way they don't over-practice and over-develop strategies. Season three is gonna be probably February, March around that time. That'll be pretty good. Oh my gosh! That was close, man. That was close. What's wrong with me commentating the finals? All right, here we go. Brosis trying to get the hammer kill at the end. He's gonna get the sub one hour and the first place. He also has 19. He's gonna secure the 20 lives right here. Alright, he's looking good, man. And he's got the 20 lives. Unless he dies here, which he didn't. Right on, and he gets the troll, the troll bump. So it looks like he's gonna get first place. Under 60, but above 54. He's gonna get the lives points. And that is it. First place, 16 points, which means Bros is gonna get second. He is gonna get punished for under the 60. So the only way left now, oh, he definitely took damage, but it, that wouldn't have applied. He has to get through all of World 8 without taking damage. What a rush, says Brosis420. Dave Lindo has a little bit of time, I think. Actually, you know what? The only thing Dave- See, Dave Lindo cannot get- Dave Lindo cannot, cannot get a Fire Flower here. Which means he cannot get the Wrangless. Being as he's got the two auto-scrollers left. I don't think he can get all, to, all hands in time. And if he gets no hands, I don't think he has time to do the Rocky Wrenches. I think that is it right there. Second place. And he gets punished for not getting under 60. Alright, congratulations to Brosis for that finish. We're gonna go ahead and pause his audio and then we're gonna have our normal Mario music. Just so we have other things to listen to while Brosis goes and gets himself to the hour. If he gives up and stops right here, that counts as a forfeit and that is a bad, bad thing for him to happen. He does get punished if he forfeits, he loses a point. You don't wanna forfeit, man. Be good. You gotta be a good sport, you gotta go to the end, right? That's how it works. Keep going, man. Go until the hour mark. Everyone send Dave some love. Let's hope he has... Let's hope Dave has a much better game too. Much, much better game, too. This is gonna- this is gonna be extremely, extremely hard for Dave to clutch it out in game two. But I am a fan of always, you know, benefit of the doubt. You never know what could happen, man. You never know. You ne There's so many places where Brosis could have died there. There's so many places where Brosis could have died there. So many things could have happened. Alright, Dave Lindo's just about to be done right here. And as soon as he's done, we want to give our runners a five minute break. Let them wipe the sweat off their hands. Let them take a drink. Maybe they got to go to the bathroom. Let them do what they got to do. Uh, maybe Dave Lindo is going to finish the entire run 
but hopefully he does and the run definitely stops. All right, the run stops. Here we go. So the reason we stop the run and we don't let the runner finish at this point is because we have to keep a tight schedule. You got 60 minutes, that's all. Right, if we let everyone go, this is an additional three minutes we, right, the, an additional three minutes we have to wait. All right, they're ready to go. Okay, here we go. All right, three, two, one, go! Let's do it! Wee! All right, we're gonna need Bros's audio again. All right, off to a good start. They're gonna do the the patented pipe rub strategy. That is the way to go. That's what you want to do, man. Boom, look at that, Bros is nailing it. Dave Lindo nailing it. Dave Lindo, I think, I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough. I don't think he's gonna make the same mistakes. And I think he might have a much clean run. That's right, much clean. That's right, I said it. All right, here we go. Dave Lindo nailing his PSP strategies. Same with Bros is right there. Ooh, Dave Lindo messes up as soon as I gave him credit, man. As soon as I, as soon as I hyped him up. But he's in the clear now, he's in the clear. All right, for anyone new here, the points that you're trying to get in World 1 are first frame jump and staying in the duck animation or whatever you want to call it on the airship. If you guys want to know about all the points and understand them better, type exclamation tournament. There's going to be a link there that links directly to all the points that these guys are trying to get and it's very easy to read, very easy to understand. So if you're having trouble keeping up, that's how you got to go. We saw KLM make the same mistake it go right in the door. That is very good. It, it, on, uh, when KLM did that, it, it was worth to try and clip, but the clip was not working out for him. So it just cost him, cost him, cost him. But now he's in there, and he doesn't have to worry about a warp whistle in his inventory. That's actually kind of good, man. I have no idea what a runner is supposed to do if they accidentally use their warp whistle. I have not even prepared or planned for that. I think we'd make it up as we go. Kind of fix it as it happens. We have, su we have had someone who's crashed their NES. So there's one thing. Alright, let's see how it goes here. Oh, he tried to press duck and he slid down the hill a little bit. Brosis getting a much better 1-6 this time in the race. Cleaning it up nicely. Alright, look at them go. Look at them go now. Look at them go. All right, let's see what's gonna happen here. No frame perfect jump, no frame perfect jump. Oh, wow. And look at that, they're like. Brosis gets the fire flower, looking good, looking good. He's gonna go into the mushroom house. Is he gonna get the early fire flower like last time? Wow. That, oh no, and Dave just took a death right there in the little hole. The little hole there with that death. Oh man, Dave Lindo loses a point and Brosis gets a point, making the difference huge right here. Making the difference absolutely massive, man. This is insane. All right, he's gonna go for the duck ship. Here we go. Boom, in the duck formation. Here we go. Oh, almost took damage right there. Way too close. All right, Dave Lindo's gonna go for the Mushroom House. Come on, Mushroom Houses. Let it work this time. Oh, oh my gosh. It just doesn't want to let him have it, man. I would, I, you know what? If I was Lindo, I'd be like, I'm done with the mushroom mess. That's it, I'm over. I'm over it. I'm over it. Rose is still in the duck form. Dave Lindo needs to clutch these two points here. Nice. Alright, looks like Bros is gonna get those two points. Already has seven points right now. If he 
going into world two. Meanwhile, this is gonna be huge for Dave. He needs this. Oh man, that was, he was in a hard situation. Nice try though. That was that's oh man, that's fun, man. That's fun. All right, making their way into world two. Making their way into world two. Here we go. So world two, they're looking for the first sun kill and randomly all movements of two out of their control. Not, it's a very rare thing to happen, but it's supposed to be, you know, something to balance it out a little bit. Hopefully certain things happen to certain players, but the first level that they beat in world two will always give you a movement of two. So at least they're good in that aspect. Always a movement of two right there. All right, that was a really good movement of two because He's guaranteed another movement of two after this level. That's actually really good. Oh, bro, sis got a little scared there. Thought he was gonna die. Did a big turn back there. Fell into the moat of tears as well. That's where the souls of the sad go to dwell. Souls of the tears and the sadness. Despawning that turtle. I've never even seen that before, but now I have. I think it despawned because the platform was, was getting much closer. All right. Looking good for them. Dave Lindo's gonna be catching up a little bit here as long as he also doesn't fall into the moat and he also gets a good movement of two. Meanwhile, Brosis gets a good movement of two as well. And they are on their way for all movements of two in this world. This could be huge for them. This could be big, man. This could be big. All right, it starts for both of them. They're end level cards. Now's the time for them to get those cards in, man. They need those cards. Another movement of two on Bro on Dave Lindo's side. That's really good. They're both rocking those movements of two. Dave Lindo almost getting early peace speed, man. He had it. He was right there, and he's actually catch. Never mind. He was catching up. Another movement of two on Bro's side. Alright, 7-3. Seven, 7-3 three. Seven, three is a great level to try and get that flower first and just get that point out of the way early game. Then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the game, man. Don't gotta think about it. Brosis gets a movement of one that is very, very unfortunate. Not gonna be able to secure that balance point, but he is gonna go for the go for the sun kill. Meanwhile, we didn't Oh my god, that is so cool. That gets me every time. I don't even notice it. Ooh, Dave Lindo taking damage, but he gets through and does he get a fire flower? He does not get a fire flower. He did do a turn back, however, and it still gave him a star. That is the worst. All right, let's see what happens here. Another movement of two on Dave Lindo's side. This is interesting. I want to see what he's going to do here. I don't think he's going to go for the sun again. No, he is. All right. Oh, tried to re-grab the shell from the sand pit, but you cannot re-grab it. Brosis has already gotten a movement of one, so he cannot get this point anymore. Let's see if he gets a flower from this level. Dave Lindo already having a much, much better run, man. I love to see this is going much better for him. Shake off the nerves. He's having a blast. Brosis, we've already seen the same mistake made by a couple runners. Makes it makes a clean fix though. Clean fix. See if he gets a fire flower here though. That'll be clutch, man, because star is pretty easy to get and they know how to get their mushroom. The flower is the hardest part and he does get the flower. Dave Lindo, no! Wrong hammer, brother. He's still got movements of two. The wrong hammer, brother, right there. That's the music box, man. He, he might have been able to secure this. I don't know, he still can, I guess. That's a movement of two right there. It is all... It is all up to the Hammer Brother with the Warp Whistle. Doesn't get the Fire Flower. It just won't give it to him, man. GG. 
Jeez, these mushroom houses hate him today. Alright, he's gonna get the hammer now. Which is good. I'm gonna let him throw two boomerangs. Wait a little bit longer. Alright! Come on, this is a uh, warp whistle clutch here. Let's see. Nope, that was the movement of one. Dang, you hate to see it. He's about a level behind though. Not getting the sun kill, which is okay. He's doing much better this game, man. I really, really like to see um, this Dave Lindo improvement from game one. Much cleaner, much, much more confident, right? And he's focusing. He's focusing. He went for that music box to not only cluster up his inventory, but I think because he wanted to try the mushroom house. So. Or sorry, he wanted. Yeah, he wanted the music box. Maybe not, but he had to go in that direction anyway. So. Wasn't much he could do about it, unfortunately. All right, they're both on the airship. How are you guys doing? This game too has already kicked off in a much healthier manner for Dave Lindo. And I think a lot of you guys in Twitch chat would agree with me. Taking the damage there, which means he's gonna have to go for a much slower. I mean, I asked chat how they were doing, and it looks like they are not doing. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna close chat. I'm out of there. I am out of there. Alright, Brosis is starting World 3 with his flower card. Looking good, man. Looking good. All he needs to do is get the star and get the mushroom, and he is good. And Dave Lino's not too far behind. You have to remember, these two runners have a very similar... PB in SMB3 warp list. The seeding for the matches was heavily based on where they sit on the leaderboard. Right? They have a little bit less than a minute, I think, in difference. They are very close on the leaderboard. Um, and they both, uh, they both played very similar in Season 1. One got 13th place and the other got 12th. So, they are very, very similarly, you know, the very similar skill here. Love to see it. Brosis getting the mushroom though, that's gonna be horrible for him. He needs to re-get the flower again on a brand new starting card, so this is gonna be interesting. Meanwhile, Dave Lindo's got the star, so he's not even gonna be able to get a chance to really start it, but he's not too far behind right now. Ooh, runaway bro for Brosis, man. This could be huge for Dave Lindo. This could be really big. Ah, nice try on Lindo's side. He tried really hard to go. That is such a hard piece piece strategy. You gotta give him props for actually trying it. Oh my god, the runaway bro came back! It's a miracle, man. That never happens, dude. It's so rare. He goes for door three. He does not get door three. Brosis does not get door three, man. That's just the way it is, man. It's just the way it is. Not much you can do about that. Oh, so unfortunate. Alright, here goes Dave Lindo. Let's get the early PCB. Does lose his Fire Flower though. But honestly, if this was like a world record pace, that would be like a reset. But this is not how this tournament works, so he's in he's in a pretty, pretty good position. Oh! Oh, the clutch music box! So he's gonna skip both Hammer Brothers. Which means, see, Brosis is so prepared. What is this? What are these Brosis moves? All right, Dave Lindo seems to be in the exact same situation he was last time. Doesn't get 
Door three though, man. You hate to see it does not get door three. Oh my goodness. So it looks like he's gonna skip both, which means he does not get a water pattern. That's the point, man. He didn't get a water pattern. That's the way it works. All right. He should go for... Oh, and there it is again. There it is again, guys. The same situation. He should have went for level four, got the special tile item, and avoided a water battle. He was in the clear. And now let's see what happens. Oh, man. The same thing as last time. The same thing as last time. Oh, Bros is not getting the age jump. Very interesting. Oh, wait, like, it's... Skipping those two Hammer Brothers, that means he's gonna have to do the extra fortress in World 4. Nice. Alright, making good work. He is going to be out of World 3. Oh, come on! That's so cheap for Dave. Two flowers in a row. What is this? There it is. He's just gonna straight up do this level. No, he's gonna go for the death. Oh no, but that's a point loss. He should have clouded across and did level seven. Now he's in the clear. Now he's in the clear. There it is. All right, he, he took the point. He took the point over time. Um, He also did not fight any water patterns, so he is in the clear for that point. Nice. He's in the clear for that point. Not too bad. Alright, he didn't die either. Look at that, and he doesn't have the star. Oh, Brosis is stuck on the screw there. Let me out of here! Oh, he could have got the wall jump there too. He's gonna go back to the fire flower. That's actually a pretty good play. Minus all this leg. Uh, interesting uh, about Mario 3 is that when there's too much... Whoa, he grabbed the block from the top? Alrighty then. When there's too much lag in Mario 3, you can't actually grab those grab blocks. You can't successfully grab them. It's very unfortunate, but if it happens when it lags too much, it's so weird. It's almost like they're normal blocks, but when you activate them, they, they then become like an enemy or an extra sprite slot in, in the NES's memory. So it's, you know, if there's five enemies, you can't grab it because there's no extra slot. It, it's, it's so weird, but that's the way it is. Although, I will say, they both have a Fire Flower in their first slot. They should be getting this point. They both have items touching, yep, because they got the hammer first in World 3. They both lose out on that uh, power-up now, yep. Yes, sir. That's okay, there's lots of other points to get here. Alright, he's gonna go for the shell grab. Shell knock, ooh, does not get the up input, or, you know, the, the jump input out of the waterfall. Not easy to do, but can he get the star without P-Speed? I think he can. Yes, he can. He's got, he's got his chance right here. This is his opportunity to get this, man. This is his chance, dude. And Dave Lindo also has equal opportunity, equal chances here. He has the flower. Let's see, let's see if Brosis gets the mushroom. Alright, here it is. Oh man! The stress of needing to get a mushroom versus not having to worry about it in a run is a much different feeling. He does not get it. This could be an advantage here for Dave Lindo. Also, let's see if Brosis gets punished in World 4. If you get... 288 or higher, you're good, but if you get lower than a 288, you lose a point. You get punished for not going fast in this level. Looking good. Looks like he's not getting punished. Boom. 
So th that would be a level that you would want to really practice. Um, when you hear about the points, yeah, they had about three, two to three weeks of practice. Rose is gonna have to do this fortress, that's right! Because he skipped both the Hammer Brothers. That is correct. Not losing Fire Flower. And it's Dave Lindo's turn now to enter World 4 and start getting these points. He's gonna do the Shell Grab, beautiful Shell Grab. He's gonna go up top, beautiful, full big jump right here. He's safe, and he is out of there. He did that level much faster than Brosis. Definitely gonna gain some time. Does he get a star here? He gets a star. This is his chance. Oh, this is... Oh, no! Oh, he's just gonna skip the star. Okay. Okay. That's that's still good, too. Bros is getting the peace speed strategy. Meanwhile, Dave Lindo not doing 4-2 as fast as Bros is. They're, they're swip swapping the fast levels back and forth. There we go. Oh! Well, dude, the spinies does bro does Dave get the mushroom? He gets the mushroom! So he's gonna have a point advantage right there. Look at that. He's cleaning up some points here, guys. Alright, and he gets the early cloud. This could be really good if he knows his hammer brothers. Alright, bros, this looks like he's in the clear for the cloud. P-Wing. Ooh, is Dave Lindo good to get the Fire Flower? Come on, one of them's gotta work for him. Sick and tired of this not working, and he finally gets it. Look at that. Dave Lindo is starting to clean up some points here. Starting to clean up some points here. You just got a point. Don't get it taken away here, man. You got this level. Don't get punished. Wow, Dave Lindo is doing absolutely incredible this run, man. And it looks like Brosis is gonna get the P-Wing, or the Cloud, then P-Wing item. He uses Fire Flower, very good strategy. Is he gonna get early P-Speed though? He's not getting early P-Speed. Oh, he is getting early P-Speed. Well done on Brosis' side, clutching in those points. Dave Lindo's turn here. Lakitu, worst level in the game. One of them. Very annoying and frustrating. Alright, he's going blind. He's going really slow there. That was a good... That was a good decision, man. That was a really clutch move there. And Brosis is out of there. Alright, Dave Lindo. If you know your Hammer Brothers, this point should be pretty easy for you. If you know your Hammer Brothers... I don't know. Is that the right Hammer Brother? Nope. Ooh, not gonna get that point. He could have used could have used his music box. Could have used his music box. Even if he used his music box though, he wasn't guaranteed to get that point though, right? So that's the challenge. That's the struggle. He has caught up a lot, and we got Brosis with the best number in the world. So, apparently Dave Lindo's little sister did game one and now she finally handed the controller back to him because now he's playing exactly how we all expected him to play. He's just absolutely annihilating right now. Is he gonna get early P-Speed as well? He got the early P-Speed! Look at him go, man! Look at him go! He's gotta go for that mushroom house though. Wait, no, his inventory point is gone, isn't it? What happened to the commentary, Mitch? What do you mean? What happened to what? What are you talking about? What happened? Those damn bikini babes. Yeah, both of them have already had their items touching, unfortunately, so they don't have to worry about it. And look at them both. They are both on the airship at the same time. Dave Lindo is catching up huge. Very nicely done, Ambrosius. He did not go directly inside the boss. 
That is like the biggest fear of every runner. Nobody has used a lifeline yet. Nope. Who's Kerbo this time? I don't know. This game is available on the new Xbox. Kerbrosis? Earth. <laughs> Alright. Rust is going to be the first person to start World 5, and here he goes. Not taking any damage, although he still needs to get Flower, Star, Mushroom. Hmm. Yeah, he's got to wait three more levels. That's what sucks when your first card doesn't work. All right, good movement with the Hammer Brother there for Brosis. Although again, they don't have to worry about their inventory anymore. All right, it's Dave Lindo's turn. Don't go through the boss. Oh, he got hit though. He should be good here. Nice. That was close though. That was actually really scary. That wasn't free, is what I'm saying. All right, no overworld bumps from Brosis. Mm. No overworld bumps yet. That was almost a death right there. That was pretty close. Very nicely done on Brosis' side. I mean, he's simply running down a hallway. Not much going on. We gotta, we gotta see it. I think he's gonna go for the roulette. And it's Dave Lindo's turn to enter World 5. Let's go. Oh, he just bumped! I heard it! He bumped! His first movement was a bump. That is very unfortunate. Not gonna get that point. You guys heard that bump, right? You guys heard that bump. Alright. Gonna go for the roulette game right here. Let's see if he gets it. Mushroom, mushroom. Mushroom! He gets it! Wow. Just wow. So, the reason Brosis bumped there is he pressed the direction too early. He pressed it before the game would allow him to move, so he bumped. He bumped. Mistimed his press. Alright, he's now gonna go for the 280 in the tower. Let's see if he gets it. Well, also at the same time, paying attention to Dave Lindo. We want to make sure he doesn't get any bumps here. We want the bump lists. Nice. Did the Hammer Brothers switch? They had to have switched. There's no way they didn't switch. Yeah, they switched. Oh, no special tile there. Mm, not gonna get the special tile in the lower in the lower section. Is he gonna get the 280? He gets the 280. Wow, Brosis is on fire. By four, man. One of the scary levels. Wow, that was scary. Dave Lindo's not letting Brosis make any mistakes though, because he's right behind him. Right behind him. All right, now it's Dave's turn for the roulette game. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he's okay. He wasn't gonna go for it. Now he's going for it. Let's see if he gets it. Mushroom. Oh, a weird hybrid mushroom flower thing. Not gonna cut it though. All right on. No overworld bumps from Dave. That's gonna be really good for him. Oh, Brosis gets the Fire Flower. Now he has a chance. This is his opportunity. This is his opportunity. Brosis, you already bumped on the overworld map. Stop being so careful. <laughs> All right, Dave Lindo's turn to get that 280, man. You can do it. Oh, wait, hold on. It's not over yet. He's gotta build it really fast here. It's not over yet. I don't think so. Don't think it's over yet. 
And Brosis gets the star. This is his last chance. There we go. No, that jump is what caused it. You'd have to jump on the little, the little block, the little brick there. Ah, uh, I'm missing the pipe. That's a, that's gonna be a guaranteed. Very unfortunate. So, Dave Lindo's not letting Brosis really make many mistakes by how fast he's catching up. But at the same time, Brosis just simply isn't making any mistakes at all. So, how is Dave Lindo supposed to catch up here for game two? You have to remember. Bro Dave Lindo might not be able to advance here in the tournament. He might not have an opportunity, you know, with, with the way this game two is going. But his stats are always saved and recorded. So I think he wants to join every tournament and pay attention to all of his stats. Ooh, bump on the overworld map. Meanwhile, Dave Lindo not bumping on the overworld map. Not yet, at least. Take it slow. It's very important here that Brosis gets a mushroom. Let's see if he gets it. Oh! Oh, and he takes damage, but he's gonna have P-Speed, which is good. Where's the mushroom? And let's see if he gets the mushroom. Nice, he gets the mushroom. Clutching in another point, making it even harder. Definitely bumped on the overworld. If anyone can confirm a bump from Dave Lindo's side, I would love to see it, but I don't think Dave Lindo... Looking sexy, guys. Look at look at Dave's points, man. He's got a lot more points this round. No bumps on the overall map. Playing much cleaner, much more confident. If this was game one, it would be golden here. That's how important both games are, man. Both games are incredibly important. I mean, Brosis could have a really, really tough time here. Right, he made his way through the fortress while Bros is on the airship. Not much going on on Bros' side, but we still have Dave Lindo to look out for those bumps in the overworld. Eh, it's really hard to bump when you move one tile at a time. So he sees every time he's in a good situation. Taking damage there, that is okay. That is okay. Gross is not getting stunned and getting himself out of that world. Alright, Dave Lindo, last chance. Overworld bumps. Yep, Cloud. No bump there. That was a frame perfect movement there. He almost bumped. Alright, last spot. Does he bump here? Does he bump if, if there's a delayed move or anything? No, he does not. Nice. Bringing up those points, man. Make his way to world six. Meanwhile, Brosis is already in world six. What? Huh? All right, let's take a look at Brosis. Does he get a low pattern? He does get a low pattern. This could be good news for him. This could be really good news for him. He's got one more Hammer Brother left, or two. That was a bad movement. That was not a good movement. He's gonna use his P-Wing here to guarantee the 279. But I wouldn't say it's guaranteed. Let's see how this goes. Nope, this is gonna make it really, no. He cannot secure this point. That's gonna make it really hard. 3, 2, oh, and missing that door is going to make it even harder. Imagine he went for that. He could have died right there. That would have been crazy. That could have been some point swings right here. 270 is not 279. Nice, Dave Lindo. Making good work. Get out of here, you stun locker. Nobody wants you here. All right, both these opponents are in World 6. Bros is going pretty slow here. I think he's kind of getting a little nervous here. He's getting a little slip-ups here and there. Uh, he might... He, I don't know. Brosis could be running out of steam. 
Mario 3 definitely works in a way where you can play perfect for like 20 minutes straight and then after that you just kind of get out of steam. It just gets harder and harder. So let's see how this goes. Neither of them have the special tile, bro. This is their last world to get it. Alright. Mr. Lindo's time. Time to shine here. Use that hammer. Gets top pattern. That is unfortunate. Not gonna work with top pattern. Alright, here we go. That's- Oh, wow. Good luck. Does he get low pattern? Wow, he does not get low pattern. So he's not gonna be gifted the point. But good luck. Dave Lindo not doing... See how this works. Wow! No, this isn't gonna- I don't think he can get it from this position. He's not gonna get it. Very unfortunate. After everything he did, man, he was set up so nicely. He's gonna have to- you gotta go faster than that. We've seen it done already in the tournament with P-Wings and with lots of other stuff, so... We've seen it done. Oh no, Dave Lane will get a marathon, that's okay. Look at that Hammer Brother position. If they switch again, he could be set up for the for the right spot on the uh, on the map. And it looks like this Hammer Brother... Going back to this Hammer Brother. No. Oh, he... that's right, he needs the Hammer Suit. Yep. We're getting that Hammer Suit, man. We're getting that Hammer Suit. Neither of them can get low pattern. Neither of them got 279. Ah, oh, but Dave Lindo could have got special tile, and he unfortunately did not get special tile anymore. It's a good thing the bumps aren't in World Six. Had I known a lot of people were gonna forget the hammer suit, I would have done it. I would have done it in World Six. I swear. This is very important for Dave. He took a... That's okay. Take it slow, man. Skids right past. Alright, we've got another P-Wing usage. Very nice on Bros' side. And Dave Lindo clutches that out. He's doing so much faster than he did last run. I love this. Nice. Gonna get the Mushroom House. Not gonna take that time loss that Brosis did. Alright. Lore clip. Two points right here. This is it. Wow. So close, dude. So close. Nice. Dave getting the cloud here. And then hopefully he notices he's got the hammer. There it is right there. I can't believe he didn't notice the hammer that last race. That was crazy. That was like a four minute time loss. With the runaway bro shenanigans. I think I think Dave Lindo makes up for it with a very sexy fortress. Look at that. Oh, I take it back. Missed the doorway. I take it back. Damn. Alright, Bros is not able to equip any item to try and get the clip, which means he's not gonna get any points in this world. Dave Lindo still has a chance for some points. Still has a chance for some points. Nice. 6-8 is super easy for Dave Lindo as he just smashed right through everything. Man, that was easy for him. Let's see how he does here. Let's see how he does here. No P-Wing, because he's, uh, I think he used his P-Wing for something else. He's gonna have to go for wall jump. Doesn't get it there. Doesn't get it there. He got the clip, but he didn't get the A-Press. Ooh, come on, man. He's getting the wall clip. He's not, there it is. There it is, right on. <laughs> Silly little turnbacks there, but he's got it. He's in there. He's in there. 
And it's gonna be Brosis' turn at the 7-1 gate. You'd love to see it. Oh, he tried to do a little move there. I'm guessing he's got a high sub pixel value after, you know, seeing him move and then grab the one. That's just a guess from my experience. Ah, short hop. Dave Lindo tries hard though, man. That was nice. Those two points could have been really good for you. All right, bro, sis. You got five tries, man. You got five tries. Everyone has done fantastic with World 7-1. With the clips, I think only two people have had a really, really bad experience, which, in my opinion, is pretty good, man. Here we go. Five tries. One. Two. Three. Four. Last try. Wow. Wow. Must be nice, dude. Wow. Getting it on the fifth try. Must be nice, man. Must be nice. Clutching it home. Wow, man. What a monster. Alright, using that star, man. Sh -sh star, man. Alright, Dave Lindo needs to clutch out this point right here. The airship clip. The fire clip. We call it fire clip because fire is right below you. You only get one chance. Oh, you could have gone for a second try, but not going for it. Not going for it. Nice. Brosis did really well there on that 7-2. That was a good 7-2, man. All right, we're entering the World 7, World 8 era. 7-3, nice and clean. Ooh, baby. Look at how clean that is. Nice and clean. Boom. What is he doing? The boss was like vibrating on the wall there. Give it up, weird looking boss. Going for sub pixel manipulation. He definitely has probably a low, unless it wrapped again. I don't know. Alright, item abuse. Item abuse world. Okay, all right. Bros, or sorry, Dave Lindo's turn. He's got five tries to get this, man. He's got five tries. Can he clutch it out like Bros? Bros has got it on the fifth try, man. That's crazy. Here we go. Five tries. One. Two. Three. Oh, he gets a third try. Right on. Look at him. He's starting to get points, man. Getting these points. Ooh, Brosis might get a fanfare. That would really suck for him. I think you're going to want a fanfare. Possible. Nice. So, uh, they're both going to use a star here. Damn, man, 7-2 today has been really annoying for some people. Bros is making sure he doesn't take that death. Dude, if he got a fire flower there, that would have ruined all of his... Like, it would have ruined his lives. Look, he's got 19 lives. He's gonna get one more life. He has to do the same... Oh! Dave Lindo, man. As soon as he starts getting points... He starts losing them. He can't afford to lose these points all the time. All right, here we go. We got Bros just working on the clips right now. Got one clip. Ooh, the duck input failed him. Nice, he got that clip. Now he's gonna go for mid clip here. He's got two tries. There's one. There's the second one. Wow, and he gets it, dude. He nails it. Oh my gosh. Wait, what happened? Oh, Dave Lindo. That's right, he died, and then he had to come back here. Oh, man. 7-2 is 
Lindo's gatekeeper. Scary. Okay, now we can go. Okay, now we can go. There you go. He's safe. <gasps> okay, I thought he was going to try and go in that pipe, man. That fireball made its way all the way back. And Brosis is out of World 7. Look at that. Look at that clean sweep of World 7 for Brosis. Look at these World 8 points. All right, now it's time for Dave Lindo to do 7-3 and then item abuse. Just use as many items as he can to get to Island 3. See, Dave Lindo is playing extremely well, but some of the mistakes, it's just not going to be able to push him. Although he still has 15 minutes to get under 16. I think he might be able to get no hands. I mean, I'm you're asking for a lot, but we'll see. We'll see how much time he has. I want to see him not get punished for the 60 minutes. So he has a much higher score count if he joins Season 3. I want to see, I want to see him keep a good high score count. I don't want him to be in the negative here. Do, 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 do. He's going to use another P-Wing here, that's right, he's got extras, man. Look at all the music boxes he has too. A lot of music boxes, guys. A lot of music boxes. Easy 7-6. Easy 7-6. Now, is he going to go for the safety? Is he going to go? He's going to go 7-8, right? 7-7 seven, is really safe. 7-8 is safety, but is he going to go for the hammer suit safety? It's like a guaranteed power up here. See how this works out? Oh, that is a very common death. I've seen that before way too many times. That is an insanely common death. He's gonna go for 7-7 seven, seven, though. Gonna have to wait here. Boom. Alright, he's ready to go. You guys excited for the Mario Maker level? Let's go. Mario Maker in 1988. Ooh, watch out. You're gonna have to grab this star. Almost died. That's still so hard, guys. That's actually a hard level for like a kid. That's a hard level. I don't care what it is. Oh, Bros is bumping on the overall map. Good thing it's not World 5. Hee hee hee. All right, here we go. So, you, oh, why no P-Wing? He's got the extra P-Wing. Oh, maybe he wants to save it for the wrenches. Ooh, the clips. What, he was already turned around? You gotta commit a little bit. getting a little splashy in there. Ooh, look at that. Look at that resolution. All right, we're back in. No, mid clip right there. No. What the heck? He's avoid like I don't know. Let's go ahead and refresh Bros this really quick in case we're behind. I don't know why Dave Lindo's not going for mid clip. That's two times in a row. Up. All right, man. He made pretty good work of 7-9, though. Can't deny it. Can't deny it. Music box cloud. Let's go. All right. Dave Lindo is in a much, much better position than last race. I love it. I love to see someone come back and clutch a much better race, right? He could have been down on himself. He could have been upset. He could have been pissed off and just not cared at all for race two, but it seems like he cares, man. I love it. I love to see that. All right, does he get Wrangless? Jesus, that's two Wranglesses in a row. What? Bros, this is a monster here. What is this? Absolute mad lad. Now I got a chance to take a look at chat and see how you guys are doing. How's it going, chat? How'd you guys like this race? I really enjoyed this race. Again, 
a lot because of how much Dave Lindo cleaned up his gameplay, uh, how he's gotten more points, and how he hasn't given up. Right? It doesn't matter. It's not always about who wins and who loses. Oh, the race is over, blah, 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 you know? It's like, I love watching how people are playing and then, like, how they're changing, how they're doing with their attitude, right? Hey, I'm doing fantastic. This is great, man. We have another, we have one more race after this between Stewie and Ibuba. This is gonna be a good one. I mean, all of them are good. Always good to see a comeback, that's right. Yeah, bro, this is giving everyone else a little bit of notice. He's like, check out these points, bro. Okay? You better step, you better step down. Little boys, you better step aside. Still pretty clutch. Still pretty clutch, I'd love to see it. Alright, here we go. What kind of hand shenanigans are we going to deal with on Brosis' side? And one. He's got time, guys. He's got time for all three hands. So, is that what's going to happen? And one. And two! And two! This is it, is he gonna get a third hand? Yeah, Scarface used up all the no hands, right? There it is! All hands, another point, holy crap, man. That's a risky peace speed strategy. See that? Oh my gosh, it's all over the place. Nice. Now Dave Lindo is in the auto scroller. We'll see. I don't know if Dave Lindo has time here, right? He's got auto scrollers. I hope he does. Alright, he's gonna use a leaf because it's gonna be much easier to go through this. He can float past some of the wrenches. He can even take damage. Taking damage would suck. But at least the points would even out. You'd hate to kill a rocket wrench, then take damage at a different level, then you'd lose both points. Save the animals, that's that's it. Save the animals. That's it. Yeah, he's gonna do the Oh man. He gets it. There it is right there. Whoops. Wow. Look at this world eight. Look at Brosis' card. Wow, it's all bright, man. Look at how bright it that's incredible. What would this be like up against Maiba, right? How would this fare against Maiba? Alright, Dave Lindo needs to get Wrangless, get those extra points. Ah, when the Boomerang Grove moves backwards, you cannot get Wrangless. That's right, bros has got to do the jump fly. I don't know why he went up there. I don't know why he went in the pipe. The pipe's definitely not faster, but I think he just... Whoa. So he's going to get a life here, so... I think... I, I wonder if he's going to autopilot in Bowser's Castle. I wonder if he's going to autopilot. Let's see. Dude, he's going to get, like, all... All points in World Day. Like, what the heck? Yeah, it's probably for safety for not taking damage. Gets the sun kill. Wow. Dude, I thought he was going to do a different kind of turn back. That was too close. Dave Lindo in the Navy right now. On his way to the hands in just a minute. A very short amount of time. We're focusing a little bit more on Brosis right now because he's not an auto-scroller. So there's a little more, more to take a look at. 
All right, he's got one last star to use right here, right? There it is. Imagine he used the warp whistle. That would suck. He would get punished for not doing it in 60. And Dave Lindo would win the race. He'd have to take second place. Nice. Dave Lindo making great work of that boom boom. The bam bam, guys. The bam bam. Alright, here we go. Dave Lindo. He has time for the hands and the rocky wrenches for more points. What does he get? He gets hand one. That's kind of good. It's kind of good. Get those points, Dave. That's right. Get those points. Gets hand two! Gets hand two! If Brosis autopilots in Bowser's castle, he might get 21, and that might screw over his 20 point game. And he gets hand three! Congratulations, yes! Dave Lindo gets another point, man. That makes me happy. Now he's got an opportunity. At the wrenches. And the s He didn't kill the sun in world 2, that's right. And he already took damage. Well, he has to finish the run for the damage thing, which I don't think he's not going to be able to get. He's not going to be able to get the sub hour. But he's got the P-Wing, so it looks like he's going to get the wrench. Ah, yes. Let's see if Brosis autopilots Bowser Castle. That would be very unfortunate. We've already seen some. We saw Maiba, right? Maiba autopiloted Bowser's Castle and got punished for it. Let's see if he autopilots. It says very common. There's no reason to avoid it. Oh, he's not going to autopilot. He's smart. He's paying attention. He's thinking about it. Nice. Dave Lindo getting the no rock points. Nice. Brosis, wow, risking it, man. If he took damage there, I would not give him the point. Look at that right there. Look at that. 21 points for game two. You thought game one was good. Wow. Is this the highest point game? Damn, second place and he's not going to get the, sub, the 60. And who knows? Let's see how far he can get. He can... You cannot forfeit. You get penalized for forfeiting. Gotta go until the end, right? You don't give up. It's not how it works. That's right. Bros just wants 700 bucks, man. He wants to win money playing Mario. Who doesn't? Alright, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Oh, whoops. Come back, Dave Lindo. Oh, Dave Lindo with the death right there. Boom. He's got three minutes left. That death there is going to be very unfortunate, dude. Lowers points, man. I want to see him stay in the positive here. This is why it's important not to forfeit. You got to play until the end. You still have time. He's got two minutes left. I mean, you can't forfeit, but playing slow wouldn't be the worst idea, right? <laughs> not get it. Okay. Oh my gosh. All that work just not to get it.
Is he gonna grab the backup fire flower? Oh, that's gonna cost him the timer, so he should probably just grab the backup fire flower. Oh, what? He made it, but the wall clip screwed him? No forfeits allowed, that's... Nice. Yeah, you're not allowed to forfeit, man. That's just like giving up. We don't tolerate give uppers. There's no such thing as losers here. We're all winners. We all participate, have fun, have a great time. There's statistics and standings. I mean, you might you might be 14th while someone's 8th. But, yes, we do not support giver uppers. Gonna use that P-Wing. He's got 15 seconds left before he's free of this madness. Free of this madness. He's probably just gonna finish the run. He's so close anyways. Looks like we have... Rosis21 at Dave with a uh, four, with a total, Abrosis, with a total of, what is that, 37, 37, and at Dave, with a total of three, 37 to three, very rough. Yeah, I'm just telling Dave right now, every time he got a point, it got taken away. Very nicely done by those guys. 